social Darwinism. When Charles Darwin wrote The Theory of Evolution, there were others that applied his theory to societies. This philosophy was called social Darwinism. The survival of the fittest nation aspect of social Darwinism was used by many to encourage nationalism and racism. Lame. Man, this, that homework was lame. Hope there's something good on TV. Archaeologists have just recovered footage from the 19th century on social Darwinism. Let's watch. Like in evolution, the fittest animal survives. Society advances where its fittest members are allowed to assert their fitness with the least hindrance. War is a biological necessity. Without it, an unhealthy development will follow. In Italy, nationalism based on social Darwinism was enforced by the Nationalist Association of Italy, who taught their country that war was the international struggle. In Germany at the time, Volk was a combination between nationalism and racism. Houston Stewart Chamberlain was writer of the Volkish thought. The races of mankind are markedly different in the nature and also in the extent of their gifts. And the Germanic races belong to the most highly gifted group, the group usually termed Aryan. It is the duty of the Aryans to protect Western civilization from the Jews and the Asians. That show's terrible. Why have I been watching it for such a long time? And now, time for Causes of Imperialism. What? Social Darwinism was important for imperialism. Social Darwinists believed that the better races were destined to dominate the weaker ones. The path of progress is strewn with the wrecks of nations. That in order for white men to progress, all other races must be inferior. Imperialism was a tool that kept all other races inferior. Thus, Social Darwinists supported imperialism. But Social Darwinism wasn't the only reason for imperialism. Missionaries were sent to godless countries to help them find Jesus. However, there were also the economic motives. Trading with other countries was a bad idea because that would have required Europeans to actually trade. Nevertheless, Europe had a perfect solution. Instead of trading, European countries took over areas where natural resources like tin rubber and oil could be found. Countries also invested into colonization. However, most of the colonies were founded on barren land and cost more than they profited. The only reason for colonization was competition with other European states involved in colonization. 